You know, sometimes I turn on YouTube or log into YouTube and I'll see a video like right in the morning and it pretty much ruins the rest of my day because I know nothing's going to top it. And I was fortunate enough to sign in the other day and saw a video that did just that. It technically ruined the rest of my day because there was no way it was getting any better. It was all downhill from there. Of course, the video I'm talking about is a shining example of journalism. I mean, it pretty much defines the word itself here. It's just probably the best investigative journalism I've ever seen. Of course, this is the CNET testing the Switch kickstand where they set up the kickstand and show us why it's a piece of junk, apparently. First, I would like to thank Nintendo for sending CNET a Switch without that review system, we would never know the all-inspiring conclusions they reached during this video is by far the best journalism I have ever seen and definitely will define the word for years to come. Now, I'm sure there are other other channels you could have sent the Switch to uh, that may have provided us with a thoughtful experience for the system, maybe even a little comedy thrown in there. But I understand the need to send it to CNET, otherwise we would never know that if you push something, it falls over. Yes, that seems to be the conclusion they come to in this 61 second video. Uh, gotta get to 61 seconds though because they know the clicks are coming, they know they are trolling uh, an entire user base of fans. Not only that, but they seem to imply the stupidity or the clumsiness of gamers as a whole. So they know, they know the clicks are coming from trolling and they have to get to that 61 seconds because anything less than 60 seconds they cannot monetize and they, they need that sweet revenue, obviously. So let's check out this video in question. It's really not that long, it's a minute. It's just a lot of them just being dumb and smacking the switch around, but let's, let's take a look. See, if they stopped the video here, they would have a great example of a how-to basic video here on their hands, how to set up the switch in tabletop mode, pop kickstand out, put it down, that's the end of the four second video. Like I said before though, they need to get to that magical 61 seconds. So they need to figure out a way to take up the other 56 seconds or so. So I think it's pretty obvious that the Switch is perfectly fine in tabletop mode until they decide that they need to fill the rest of the video. Again, about 50 so seconds or 56 seconds or so. At what point they decide, hey, let's just start smacking the thing around. So they push the Switch over, they knock it over, they flip it over on its front, they break the kickstand off, all things that normal people wouldn't do. But this is CNET, they have to pound the pavement, give the people what they want, show us just how bad this kickstand is on the Switch. I know a lot of people, I'm sure, canceled their pre-orders over this video because it shows the obvious issue that is the kickstand. Yeah, they just pretty much just push the switch over several times uh, in a mildly sped up manner. I'm not really sure what this video seems to accomplish. Although I, I have to say, now that I think about it, I have the exact same issue with my computer monitor. <music> Journalism. I think my favorite part in the whole video is when he takes the Joy-Con and punches the switch like dead on in the screen for some reason to knock it over. Now, it's not, it doesn't look like a really hard punch, but it looks like he just kind of pushes right into it, knocks it over, and then for some reason implies that it's the Switch's fault, the Switch's kickstand's fault in particular, that it fell over. I guess the laws of physics don't reach CNET, and pushing on something should not knock it over, I guess, if it's up on a stand like that. I, It's pretty obvious it would happen to anything. If I pushed a, a camera over that's up on a tripod, it would probably fall over. If I pushed these lights over, probably fall over. If I pushed my, I don't know, computer monitor, like it, it, it'd fall over. But CNET is answering the tough questions and I respect that. No one else would think that we need an answer for what happens if you push something. So yes, after they decide that the switch isn't good enough and it's implied that it's the switch's fault because it can't dodge. Dodge! <laughs> yeah, that, that sounds exactly like my Xbox actually. Journalism. They go on to claim that the, the fails happened to them, so I guess it's going to happen to us because we are clumsy buffoons who don't know how to handle a game system at all. Uh, I, I assume the Switch is going to break as soon as I grab it out of the box, put it on a table. I mean, that has to be the obvious answer. They seem to have some very competent people over there handling electronics. In fact, if you Google CNET, 
this is what comes up. The world's leader in tech product reviews, news, prices, videos, forums, how-tos, and more. And these are their words, guys. It's right on Google. You can just, you can type it in and it comes right up. So, yes, this is it. This is the, I guess, the definitive review how-to site out there. At this point, everything they say must be true. Uh, also, I want to point out that the kickstand that you see in the video pops off just in case you try to insert it into the dock when it is open. I thought that was obvious to everyone. I, I assume the alternative would be it does not pop off. It just breaks in half. It seems like a great, this is, I mean, this is a great design by Nintendo for the kickstand, despite CNET seemingly implying that it's a bad design when it's not, it's actually really smart. So I think the dislike ratio kind of tells us everything we know about this video. It was a poorly done attempt at what I hope was humor. Although the more I watch it, the more I think they were being serious with this video. Although the real winner here, the obvious seat, it's obviously CNET. I mean, the, those clicks are being monetized. And as much as people dislike the video, ads will still play and CNET still makes money, CNET will still win here. I guess the real lesson here is if you troll a large fan base of people, you will get decent ad revenue from it. It's, this isn't good because again, that switch probably could have been sent to plenty other places. So thanks to CNET for giving us proof, definitive proof actually, that most small children are better at handling the Switch than their staff. You see it right in the video, right? I hope they start doing some real reporting on the Switch and stop taking the free review system for granted at this point because it seems to be what's happening here. There are people out there who create better content and could have benefited from that Switch. It seems to be going to waste over there. But yeah, guys, that's it for now. <laughs> Let me know what you think. I... I it's pretty obvious that this video was just bad. It was probably made in an attempt to troll, again, an entire fan base and just make people mad. <laughs> it's pretty obvious the kickstand is okay in tabletop mode if you don't act like an idiot when you use it. You don't punch the system, don't smack it, don't knock it over and then say the system is just bad because anything with three legs would still get knocked over the way they were treating that thing and it yet yeah, has a kickstand but for having one kickstand on its one side that's a pretty sturdy system for what i could see i tried it at the dc event seemed fine so again it's cnet being cnet uh it's mass media just being stupid and trolling us <laughs> into clicking on their stuff and watching their ads to then see their 61 second sped up video of someone just manhandling the system and then putting adverts on it so Good for CNET. I'm glad that switch went to him. Great news. I'll see you guys next time.